Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss how to write a Java program to accept an abbreviation as the input and to display its acronym. So what's an abbreviation? Abbreviation is a collection of words to form a string and what is an acronym? Acronym is the collection of first character, character of every word in that abbreviation. Now let us take an example. Uh, in this example, Uniform Resource Locator is the abbreviation. In this, if you gather the first character of uh, Uniform, then first character of Resource, then first character of Locator, you can get the URL of, sorry, the acronym of Uniform Resource Locator, that is URL. Like that, here, Vital Information Resource under C is, here, B is the first character of Vital, then I is the first character of Information. Like that, if you gather every first character in the words in the abbreviation, you can get the acronym virus. Now, we want to process it, right? We want to process it. So we, we want to write a program to accept an abbreviation as input and to display its acronym as output. How can you uh, process it? Let us take the abbreviation uniform resource locator. So you have to get the abbreviation as input. So in which form or in which type you will get the abbreviation as input? Abbreviation is a collection of characters, right? Abbreviation is a collection of characters or a collection of words. Every word is a collection of characters separated by void space. So what you can do is, first you can uh, take the string as input, the abbreviation as a string input and take every word or extract every word. How can you extract every word, right? In, in our sentences, every word is separated by uh, a void space from other word, right? That we know. So in this case, what you can do is, you take every character and check whether uh, you are encountering a white space or not. If you are encountering a white space, uh, you can, uh, can consider whatever you gathered before this white space and after the previous white space is a word of this sentence. Now, uh, let us write the program for this. Let me write a class. Okay, let me write a class acronym and its main method public static void main string arguments now first we want to get the abbreviation in the form of a string right so we want a variable to get or collect that uh, abbreviation string so we'll let us declare a variable to denote the abbreviation. So let us name it as abbre. It's a short form of abbreviation. And then what's next is you want to uh, get, take every word and check whether it's a white space or not. If it's not a white space, then it's a part of a word in that abbrevi abbreviation. So until you are encountering a white space, you have to gather that characters in a separate string and let us name it as a word. Let's name it as word, right? It's another string. And you are going to gather the characters into this a string word. Whenever you encounter a non white space character, it's an alphabet or some something, some number or some symbol, you are going to gather it in this string. In this case, if already some content is there, if it is already having some uh, you know, a content, then it's called garbage value and that will affect the result of your program. So in that case, you have to make it empty before getting make you know before making it under the processing right so make it as empty by using assigning null string to it so now null string is assigned to it so now it's, it's, it's made null okay now next is we want to have a string variable that is gathering the first character of every word from the given uh, abbreviation and uh, that is considered as an acronym so let us name it as acro so acro is another string variable that gathers first character of every word in the string and it's finally called this acronym of the given abbreviation. So let us name it as acro and that should also be initialized with null because that is also going to gather the characters in future. Now let us get the input from the user. So let me write this simple description to the user system.out.println. enter the abbreviation
right once the description is displayed it will it, it will wait for the user to enter the abbreviation and we have to get that uh, input in by the user uh, okay uh, into the string right so which variable we are using the string abbrey so abbrey is actually it's a string variable that denotes the abbreviation we are going to process so you have to get the input from the user and assign it to abbrey but what method can be used to get a string especially a string with number of words as input we have two choices one is uh, one is next another one is next line so next is accepting only a single word string but um, here abbreviations are collection of words right so we want to go for the next choice that is next line next line is capable of accepting a collection of words as input right and if you want to call next line then you have to use the string object sorry uh, scanner object okay so let me assume that i am i am using the scanner object in but the scanner object in is not a declared right so there will be an error you see there is an error actually posted what is that a uh, variable abri is already defined in main right main method right that means you are you are uh, yeah it's already defined right so let me omit it now again this is a possibility of error what is that cannot find symbol in so in this actually assumed as the object of the scanner class but that is not declared in our program so let us declare that in our program so scanner in is equal to new scanner of system dot in so regular uh, statement we are using in our uh, programs to get the input from the user right but again there is a possibility of error what is that error it's cannot find symbol class scanner so that means the scanner class is not known to the program so if you want to make the scanner class known to the program you have to import the scanner class into the program so import the basic package java then in java package util is actually the package that contains scanner class now uh, you have to import the uh, whole content of this util all the members of this util package or you can import only the scanner class which is required in your program right so let me declare or import only the scanner class into our program now let us continue the process so here we want to go for the processing of the string or abbreviation what process can we do is actually you want to take every word from that uh, abbreviation for example uniform first and extract the first character and add it to the string after right then again take the next word resource and take the first character from it and um, add it to acro then next take the next word locator and take the first character from the um a word locator and add it to uh, the acronym string acro right finally you will get uh, the acronym of the string or abbreviation uniform resource locator but the thing is how can you extract every word from the string without using any standard library function right so what you can do is you take every character from the string right for example let us take uh, ch is equal to u so initially u is coming so u is actually it's a it's a uh, it's a it's actually uh, a non uh, white space character that means it's a it's a alphabetical character so it's not white space character in that case you uh, gather it into this uh, word uh, string word word right so u is initially there okay now next when n is coming okay take the next character n is coming so when n is coming so n is actually again non uh, non white space character so we just gather it or add it to the word um, okay uh, word right then like this um, okay uniform you know i will come f will come o will come r will come then m will come so every every character will be gathered into this uh, word, string word right so finally uh, m will be there in this ch now next one is next character is a white space after m there's a white space so white space is coming right white space is coming when white space is coming what's happening all the characters you gathered in this uh, string uh, word is a is a word in this whole uh, sentence right so just take that sentence so just take that word okay uniform and take the first character how can you take the first character by using uh, the index 
So if you are extracting the first character, uh, if you are extracting the character at index 0, that is the first character. Now add it to the acronym string, okay, the resultant string. Okay. This is how we are processing. So what you want to do is first you want to uh, go through every individual character in the string or in the abbreviation and you want to check whether it's white space or not. So if you want to go from first character to last character, first you have to know the number of characters in the string so that you can write a, uh, you know, a looping structure, right? So let us um, uh, find the length of the string or length of the abbreviation and let, let us name the variable as L, okay? And it's an integer variable since it's going to have a number of characters, okay? And then how can you find the number of characters in a string? You have to call the length function. You can call the length function. And if you want to call the length function, you have to use the string object uh, for which you are finding this, uh, find, finding, the, finding the length, right? So here you are finding the length of the whole abbreviation. So let us uh, use the uh, string object uh, abbre to call the length function. So it will return the number of characters in the given abbreviation and that is stored into the variable L. Now what can you do is you can um, traverse through every character in that um, string from first character to last character and you have to repeat a set of operations. So in that case, you have to go for a looping structure. You have to go for a looping structure. So um, which looping structure is more apt uh, to this problem? Actually, uh, there are two choices. One is for loop and the one is while loop. So for loop is, uh, it can be used if you know the number of iterations or number of times this is executed in prior. But while loop is used when you are not knowing the number of iterations at the same time you know that this, this set of statements should be repeatedly executed until a condition is satisfied. So here we know the number of characters in prior, right? Already we calculated the length of the string. So number of characters is already known to us. So we can go uh, with for loop that will be better for this um, problem. So let us write the for loop for, for loop requires a uh, no, looping variable. Let us name it as i. And this looping variable is going to traverse through or it is, it is going to denote every uh, character. That means index of every character. Its initial value should be 0 since the index of first character is 0. Now, it has to go till the last character. So, last character is actually index is L minus 1. Okay, if there are L characters, then index of the first character is 0 and index of the last character is L minus 1. So, it has to go till L minus 1. So, you can write the condition like I less than L or i less than or equal to l minus 1, whichever you prefer, both are right, okay, i less than or equal to l minus 1, okay, that is the last index, right, and then i plus plus to get the next index from the current index, now this for loop is written, now inside this for loop, what are we going to do, as we discussed, we have to take every character from the string or abbreviation and check whether this is a white space or not, if it is a non white space character, just gather it in the string word. Okay, that's what first we have to do. So let us write the code for it. Okay, so let us check whether the given character is a white space or not. So first you have to extract the character, right? How can you extract the character? Already uh, we discussed in that example, uh, can at top, then a particular index. Here, every character's index is actually denoted by a looping variable i. Right, its initial value is 0, then 1, then 2, then till it's, go, it's going till L minus 1, length index of the last character. So now let us use okay, that index i. After that, if you want to call this care at function, you have to use um, a string object on which you are calling this. Okay, so on which uh, object you want to call actually the string from which you want to extract the characters, which is that string a brief. You want to take every character from the string and you want to check whether it is white space or not. Once you uh, take it, uh, once you extract the character from the string a brief, then store it into a temporary uh, character variable char ch. Now this is the character you are going to process. This is the character you are going to process. What process you are going to do? First check whether it will, it's white space or not. Let us go with not white space case. Okay, if the given character is not a white space, in that case, what do you want to do? Let's check whether it's a um, non white space character. Okay, or it's a white, non white space character, sorry. Non white space character. If it is non white space character, then uh, it's a alphabetical character or any symbol or any digit, right? 
just gather it into the string word right so word is equal to word plus the ch just gather it into a string word suppose if you are encountering an white space character so that considered in else part okay so if you are if you are encountering a white space then that case is considered in else part so if you are encountering a white space what do you want to do as i said to you take the content of that word and extract the first character by using the index 0 and add it to the acronym string that's what you have to do right so now how can you do it take the first character from this word so care at top first character is always denoted by the index 0 and how can you call this caret you want an string on which you want to call so you are now you are finding the first character of or extracting the first character of the word right so call it using word so word and assign uh, it to a temporary variable or otherwise directly add it to the acronym uh, string variable right so acro plus the current first character in the given word okay and store the result back into acro now you are taking a particular word okay when you are encountering a white space you are you are you are having a word in this string word take the first character from that word by using the index zero and the function caret and gather it or you know add it to the string acro okay now acro contains uh, it's going it's be gathering first word of your first character of every word okay now next what do you want to do once the current process is over once the current process is over uh, next word will come into existence already this word is containing uh, the word uh, uniform right already this word, string word is containing the word uniform now you continue with next character or okay if you are if you are continuing with the same content it will continue from r then e then s then o then u then r then e, c then e again void space when void space is coming what will you do it will you will take the first character from the whole word what is the first character now again u so it's giving a wrong result so what you want to do is once the first word is processed okay once the first word is processed okay immediately flush that string word so that it can accommodate the new word okay if you are gathering with the same content it will again give the same uh, value as the first character okay so now you empty that okay now you empty that after that you continue the uh, you know, process with the next word right so in the code after processing the current word okay just make that word empty okay now word is made empty right so now uh, the acro contains uh, all the first characters or first characters of all the words now let us display it system dot out dot print ln the acro name is right and it's available in the string character string uh, variable acro let us display it now you see there are some errors what is that error cannot find simple variable i so variable i is not a declared so let us declare it so it's an integer variable okay right now let us compile the program so no syntax error let us run the program okay and let us run the program yes now enter the abbreviation okay enter the abbreviation and here let me give the abbreviation okay um, uniform uniform resource resource locator right let me give you see uh, it's it's giving the first two characters of um, first two words or first char two characters of first two words but it's not considering the first character of the last word even it's not considering the first word itself so what's happening uh, uh, what process we have done and what logic we used is um, when a white space is encountered okay when there's a white space encountered at that point we are extracting the first word from first character from that word and we are gathering it into a group but you see when user is entering the uh, string he will not or she will not enter the uh, white space at the end for the last word for the last word there won't be any white space 
Before the first word, there won't be any void space. But we are not checking for the pre void spaces. We are checking for the post void spaces. So for uniform, there's a void space. After that, uh, uniform, there's a void space. After resource, there's a void space. But after locator, there is no void space. In this case, a locator word will be actually gathered. That that characters in that word will be gathered in the string word. But it's not processed because there is no void space after it. So what you want to do is you cannot expect the user to press the void space after pressing or giving the abbreviation as input. Instead, you add a void space. Okay. So abbre is equal to abbre plus then a void space character within a string. Okay. Now what will happen is the, after the last word there, there will be a void space. So last word will also be considered for processing. Now let us compile it and run it again. Yes. Now let us give again uniform resource locator. You see now it is giving the correct URL. And now the last word is also considered we uh, since we added additional void space after the last word. Uh, let us run the program one more time uh, with some uh, another example. Okay. For example, uh, vital information resource under C's. This is actually the expansion or abbreviation of virus. That means uh, normally the computer virus. Okay, and uh, so uh, the first uh, character of every word is uh, taken and uh, virus, the word virus is formed. Now let us check whether the acronym is actually uh, properly printed or not. Yes. So the acronym of uh, uh, you know vital information resource and C's is actually printed properly. So now this is how you are um, okay processing or you are getting an abbreviation as input and displaying uh, the acronym of that abbreviation. So you have to get the abbreviation in the form of string and uh, add a void space additional void space at, at the end. After that, find the length of that abbreviation and then um, take every character from the abbreviation and check whether it is. Uh, void space or not. If it is not a void space, then add it to uh, a separate word uh, or string that is word. And if it's a void space, then take the string from that uh, string word and take the first character from that and add it to the uh, resultant string accrue. Okay. Once you uh, once you process the current word, make this uh, string word ready for next or uh, to accommodate next uh, word so that you can you can uh, it is not creating any wrong results. So you have to uh, refresh or flush this word by assigning null string to it. Okay. Finally, once this for loop is you know, encountering all the characters in the given string and it's the acronym is gathered in the string accru. And now you can uh, print the final acronym uh, by using a print ln statement. Okay. So I hope that uh, this program would be interesting and I hope that you understood this program and uh, uh, practice this program. And uh, uh, keep on watching videos from Program of Programmers by Felix and subscribe the channel and press the bell button for your further notifications and uh, happy programming. Thank you.